Let's discuss what to do when squatting gives you a headache. So why would this happen? We're not going to talk about physiology because I don't really understand what is going to go on there. Generally, uh, you, you get extra pressure in the area of the head and that causes some tension. But some people get other types of headaches and it's not always that cause. Headaches are a broad, complex topic. I don't want to treat your headache right now. I just want to help you understand what could be causing it at a um, behavioral level so you can understand what's going on. So this topic is probably not pertainable for many of you, so feel free not to watch it, but for me it is, and I know other people out there can have some problems with this, so I wanna take some time now and discuss it. So as I am squatting, I have to turn up my nervous system, right? When I, when I push myself, my nervous system, my muscles, everything gets more sensitive. I can feel things a little bit better um, and I can contract my muscles a little bit harder and a little bit quicker, right? So if I push myself to the brink of physical exertion, um, it requires maximum output. And when I get that maximum output, usually I compromise my positions, right? So if I have a really good squat position, I got my hips underneath me, my uh, torso is parallel with my shin angle, I'm getting good feeling in my quads and in my glutes, and it feels like I'm doing good work, then if I keep going and I keep pushing myself, let's say I do a, a set that I might normally do for 10, and I do them really well, but I do that wait for 20 reps, which is, you know, realistically attainable with the right motivation. Generally, I'm not going to feel very good after doing those 20 reps. I'm going to push myself to uh, levels that my biomechanical system cannot support, right? My, my neurobiomechanical system doesn't know how to work the right way. So what I'll do instead is I'll turn my back on a lot. I'll turn the back of my head on a lot. Or I'll even, for me, I might even go this way to um, tuck my chin too much. Yes, there is such a thing as tucking your chin too much. Uh, the the outcome then is I don't I feel maybe a, a little accomplished right away, but that accomplishment kind of dies off and a headache comes in and then I don't feel very good. So what's going on here? I got a lot of tension. I've turned up that nervous system, right? So my body is just tight and it's more sensitive and that nervous system uh, encouragement lasts for a lot longer than the set of squats do and so some people don't respond very well to that some people that's the way that they it's like there are people who put 100 pounds on their squat in eight weeks you know those people respond really well to stuff like that um, some people just don't have the builds, they don't have the nervous system, they don't have the immune system, whatever it is that's supporting you, they might not have that potential, that ability. They might need slower progress so that they don't feel quite as bad when they are training. And that's kind of the message that I'm trying to give out this way. This is just one example, but I want you to have options so that if you're noticing something happening, you can make a logical, rational decision and say, hey, next time, maybe let's not do that. Maybe I'll say, okay, I'm gonna do 11, but I'm not gonna do 10. Because I still want you to be able to push yourself. I still want you to get better, but I don't want you to feel like crap afterwards. So don't let your neck get so tight. Make sure you keep pushing with your legs. You have to think, what is the goal here? The goal of training is not usually to test yourself and to show the most amount of strength. You're not supposed to max out every single day. Some people respond pretty well to that. Most people do not. So I want you to think, here's a quote I got from Chase Carnes. You, too many people spend too much time testing strength instead of building strength. That really stuck with me because I did that on my own. Like I, I had read some things and I said, okay, I wanna get stronger. Uh, sets of three, two, and one get you stronger. So I'll do 40 sets at three, two, and one four times a week. 
and my, my nervous system was just fried. My joints were fried. I did not get any stronger. I actually got weaker because I never allowed myself to recover. I was giving my body a stimulus that it couldn't deal with. So keep those things in mind. If you're getting headaches after you squat, maybe you need to, con again, consider what the point of the squat is. Is it for leg development? Is it for leg strength? You probably wanna be strong in a good position because then you'll be able to recover from it and you won't feel so crappy afterwards. If you want strength for strength's sake, go ahead and give yourself a headache. That's totally fine. I'm just giving you, I want, I want you, child, to understand that your actions have consequences. Okay, so hopefully that slight rambling was a little bit helpful.